your boy Feast and I'm back with another video. Today we're gonna do two sneaker unboxings and uh, I purchased both of these sneakers from Macari. The Macari app, they sell Jordans, they sell household stuff, they sell Yeezys, they sell everything. So uh, from the rip, I'm gonna let y'all know I really don't like the packaging, especially on this other shoe. Because you can see that's a drawer, you can see that's a drawer one box. You can see that. So let's put that. That's the second one. We're gonna open the first one first. But it looked like somebody opened. It looked like somebody opened it already. So we're gonna just cut, cut around. All right. Y'all see this box? Y'all see the box? That box don't look right. <laughs> this box don't look right, right y'all. I'm scared. Oh no. Yeah, y'all, I think we might have got God. Check that out, right? Check that out. Y'all see that that label? Now y'all. Now I'm big on these labels, man. I'm big on these labels. Um, I never seen a Jordan mid retail for $110. Either 115 or 125 for the mids, uh 140, 170. Um, on the, on the, the highs or whatever. So let's check this out, man. I'm sorry, I got a little bit bad for Oh, what the hell is this? Never seen it. Jordan box. Come with that in there. Oh my God. Yo, we got God. We got God, y'all. Yeah, this is, this is, look at that receipt. That's a fake finish line receipt. Come on, y'all. They don't even smell like Jordans. Look at this size tag, man. Just, it don't even feel right. And look at the back of the hill. Let me, hold on, let me get y'all, let me reach up here real quick. Look, this is a DS pair of Biohex. Size 16, don't matter. You see, you see the difference? You see the difference? Look, look. Look, the size tab is all the way down here somewhere. Like, all right, let me put that back up there, y'all. So back to these, they don't even smell right. There's no size sticker in there. The leather is rough as hell. The suede is rough. The, little, the silver parts, uh, I think these is called, um, the alternatives to think like 16, but this particular size is going for a lot on stock X. So I bought it off from of Macari thinking I could make some money, but look at this, like what the hell? Look at this, the, the sleep art. Okay, so the box says retail for 110, but this says, Purchase price two twenty eight plus tax two forty six. A fake barcode. These were shipped from uh, Jersey, but it says Pass Dara, Texas. Do y'all see this receipt though? It looked like it's it stick like a piece of print paper. This is the other shoe. 
Come on, man. Look at the look at the tag. Look at the size tag. Like they might have got this out of a real pair of Jordans, or they could have made this fake too, cause it looked like the jump man is pregnant. Come on, man. And I think I paid like 130 and the buyout on stock X is like 500. This is this is the first shoe, man. I can even tell. Look at the box. Look at the box though. Look at the box. Look at that. This is Air Jordan 1 mid. Yo, it's like the gold looks smeared. The box look like real dry fucking cardboard. Excuse my language. All right, so this is the second one. And I'm, I'm guaranteeing we can speak to, but um, I don't know yet. So let's see. These ones is probably speak to. Same deal. I look that bad though. Nah, yes it do. As I'm looking at the bottom of it, and it's like, he went in the fake warehouse and, and got me all the, like all the reject, reject, reject with the ones. And again, this is it. What the hell? Contact me on WhatsApp if you are if you are absolutely unsatisfied with this product, please return the product to our current address. And guess what address it is? It's a Brooklyn address. And guess where all the fakes is at? In New York. On Canal Street. This is bad, but I I, I already know that one is fake, so I know this one probably got to be fake, too. Where do they get these finish line receipts? Now, they scraped the retail tag off of this box, but everybody know Jordan Haas is, uh, I think this is the LA to Chicago pair. This retails for, like, like 170, or I think it was like 170 in retail. Day. Now this is a retail store with a receipt that says 368, 398 with all the taxes. Look at this bull crap, man. This is bad, like. And here's the shoe. Oh man. This is. This is Fugazi at his finest. Just, just look. When you when you dealing with fake shoes, you just check the leather, check the filling of the leather, and you always watch the stitching. Now that back tab on the heel, they made that a little better. And on the Jordan ones, it's something with the wings. Uh, I, later on in my channel, I, I'll I'll put y'all down with how the wings is supposed to be, but you know, I kind of forgot. But just, just look at it, yo. Look at the stitching. And this is supposed to be like a shoe, when it get worn down, it changes colors, but it's fake, so I doubt it'll change. Come on, look at that, look at that stitching, man. This is bad. This is terrible, man. This is terrible. And guess what it came with? Some extra laces. They is really out here selling people garbage. This is garbage, man. The, the soles look good. They got the stars and everything on it, but. And I bought these shoes thinking I could make, make some money off of them. Like I was gonna get them and send them to StockX. But StockX might shut my account down, set it ease up. This is bad, man. Look at the paper. The paper is even bad. The 
Big Breezy will pass, man. It's a bad dream, man. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna send these shoes back so I can get my refund. I'm gonna contact Macari in the morning and get me a refund. And that's about it, man. I don't sell fake shoes. I don't want nobody commenting or asking me, oh man, just let me get those drawings for like $30. Nah, we don't sell fakes, bro. Not at all. Then they got receipts. They is, they getting crafty, man. I'm gonna just put all this stuff in one box. They is getting crafty, man. You gotta beware. You ask people, and it's crazy. I asked the dude, I said, these prices is too good to be true. Is the sneakers real? And he told me the sneaks was authentic. He got all sizes. And I'm like, I mean, maybe he ran into some trouble. He's trying to just get rid of the joints. But no, these are fake. Fugazi. Fufu. Ain't nothing real about the sneakers, the box, the receipt, the paper, nothing. Only thing real is the shipping. That's it. And they took forever. They took like, like two weeks. So I should already know by that. But he, but he said, oh, it's a delay because of weather and this, that, and the third. And I checked on the FedEx website, it's, it's telling me the same thing. But this is fake. This is garbage. This is a waste of my time. But, uh, you know, man, just y'all beware when you're on the Macari app. Take, take uh, good pictures, screenshots of the pictures, ask for more pictures. You can send them to the Check Check app. Then check it out. Tell you if it's authentic or not, man. Me, I do not wear fake shoes. They don't, they don't uh, make size 16 and 15 fake shoes, unauthorized, whatever you want to call them. But like I always tell y'all, man, I ain't gonna hold your time. I enjoy you looking at the video. Appreciate the support, and um, I'll get with y'all next time, man. Peace.